boys, we got out of limb mode. Third, fourth gear pull. something on a test drive. This is second gear. guys Derek Lewis we are so back we've had a lot of crap projects going on the excursion the 6.0 power stroke was kicking our ass um, the valve job we did on that turbo x then I had to pass smog so a bunch of crap on that but anyway big turbo is back and guess what we just took it for the second or third official drive but it's actually boosting and let me tell you why because we got a new ECU because classic T8 ECU behavior. The ECU that I had in here, I'd put on another car and uh, the convertible that got sold. Um, so I literally just had a junk ECU in here, which was just causing all sorts of issues. Um, so I didn't know if it was the tune and the VIN and key data not matching, why it wouldn't crank, or if it was just the ECU. Plus we've been battering, uh, battling battery issues. Uh, I need to buy a new battery. These We have like three junk ones, and the one we're using is like the worst of the three. So we're battling that. And as you know, these are two probably the most common issues with these um, older 9.3s, the 2003s in particular, the ECU, the T8 ECU, and the battery. So anyway, got that rolling. This ECU just came from a junkyard, and it's running good so far. Uh, I flash this back to a base tune just to see if it would run just so I could get the VIN and key data matched up and it ran and we boosted and let me tell you this thing didn't spool till like 6500 uh rpm and really we only were able to boost kind of in you know second and, and third but we did take it on the highway um very simple routing for the wiring so we got the wastegate leaving the top disconnected for now so we're just on wastegate the spring pressure i got about 20 pounds of spring in there based on kind of my testing with our compressor um, this is a boost reference so this is just running to the front nipple uh, on the manifold here so we did a full pressure test put our pressure tester on the cold side of the turbo pressurized the intercooler pipes uh, it held 20 some pounds just fine so that's good uh, but yeah, this is boost reference off the manifold. Then we have, let's see, some odds and ends. We do have the stage one GM map sensors. There's one here and then the one uh, right here as well. Uh, ignore this line. This is just teed up for the, this actually goes to the boost solenoid that sits on the front of the manifold. That's here. That's actually, um, where do I have it? I think I took it off. So I think I removed that one sitting somewhere. Um, 
And then this is actually your wastegate, uh, your internal wastegate controller, wastegate solenoid that sits on the top of the stock turbo. And I just have that plugged in so it wouldn't throw any codes or anything, but I'm not using that whatsoever. So not using this, which I originally thought I would have to, but this is for an internal wastegate turbo. This is obviously an external wastegate turbo. So I literally don't have anything connected to the intake pipe other than the MAF. So the MAF's connected, which obviously has to be. We're still using the stock uh, um, set up intake wise until I get something fabbed up for the intake. But uh, that's a two to four inch coupler coming off the, the cold side of the turbo down there. Very messy, but, and then ignore that line. That line is just a, that was for the factory diverter valve um, or bypass valve. It ran from the boost solenoid that sat here and it runs here. It goes into a hard line right here. Yep, at that junction runs hard line down and then that's where it comes out right there. So that's one just sitting there. So we got a little cleanup to do as you can tell, but uh, I just want to give you guys an update, get you some footage. Hopefully you've seen a little footage at the beginning of this video, but I'll get some driving footage once this tune flashes. Shout out to Josh at JT Tuned. Um, it'll be the first time on a, you know, these bigger map sensors uh, tune and this is just blocking off. Sorry, this open line here, but this goes to the boost cage, have a mechanical boost cage in the car. So that's working well. Finally, um, super random, I guess I'll share with you. We had a boost line. Actually, don't know where it's at right now, but we had the line that came with the, the uh, boost cage from Pro Sport. This line, thanks, Trey. So this line that came with the boost cage, you can tell it's kind of like has random folds in it because it was um, when they ship it, they kind of like wrap it up and then, you know, uh, rubber band it. So it kind of comes like all wedged up. Anyway, fun fact, um, this line, we're battling the boost cage. Like why would the boost cage show any pressure? Well, we just tested the line to see if we're crazy. And this line is not, let's check this out. So, oh, where's her, so where's the problem literally there? the air cannot go through here. So maybe it got too hot in the packaging and it literally just fused together. Oh, it but, oh shit, that was loud. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, anyway, that's a uh, pro sport line. Did not work. So once we got a normal line in there that actually passed air through it, imagine that. The boost gauge starts working great. So man, it's been a... It's been a battle with this thing, but we got a couple things going on. The, <laughs> that's a CV boot that's spraying everywhere. Um... Let me show you this absolute hatchet job of an exhaust we got until we get the V-band set up. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of just shove this up into that uh, 90 degree V-band, um, three inch downpiped little thing we have that I've shown in the past. We shove this up, this is a stock exhaust, and then rolling back. And I originally cut this out when I was running the that Walmart downpipe that everyone loves to ask about. Um, but yeah, so this is back in and we're, I got to order a V-band, little 90 degree, three inch um, to replace this section. Very hatchet job, so just ignore that. But engine's nice and clean, tranny's nice and clean from cleaning it. It is running the stock charge pipe down low. But uh, jump to the cabin real quick and show you. Boost cage here, and we're in the middle of tuning it. Sorry, it's a night video, but hopefully the driving footage makes this worth it. Flashing on Tronic can flasher right now. And yeah, here's the interior. ICM2, six speed F40. It is an arc trim. I do have a parchment aero interior though that probably is gonna go in here on another car. Boost cage working great. Um, have this ABS light on and this brake light. So we think it's a, what Jay, wheel speed sensor? Uh, I think it could be an ambush sensor too. Um, we had the CVs out and we pulled the engine out, so it could be, you know, something we... Yeah, we had a lot of stuff out line, when, line, line. when we ripped the engine out, so... But the only check engine line it threw on our test drive so far is a barometric pressure sensor, which, um, just a little education piece for you. The barometric pressure sensor... Jesus. Sits right up here. And I just, you know, saw the code and I came out to check it, and sure enough... While we're pulling everything out, I think we jimmied that a little too far. So exposed wire, that's probably what our issue is right there. So just gotta clear that. That's very much pressure sensor and that just reads the uh, you know atmospheric pressure to give your boost a reference um, or your map sensors, just the standard reference. But all right guys, without further ado, let's get you some more driving footage.
got back from that drive. Manifold's starting to discolor. Um, surprisingly not, like it's hot, but compared to an, a V6. If you guys have a V6, you know. You drive, you, a stock when you drive, you open the hood and it just pours out the heat. Like, it, like I can put my hands in here. It we were feel... just ripping this thing. Like we drove for like, I don't know, probably an hour and just were romping it in high RPMs down the highway the whole time. And it's not that yeah, bad. Cool uh, wastegate thing. obviously has no screamer pipe down on it. Um, but all lines, everything's holding. The one thing we got with that CV Buche, that's just gunking down here bad. Yeah, it's like boat, boat exit. <laughs> I'll just go straight up the hood with the screamer pipe. But yeah, we got some sludge coming down here. But no big deal. Totally open exhaust right now. It's on the problem. Nothing past that V band. Yeah, the problem was the uh, ECU, just to reiterate. Oh, also, yeah, when we were running, um, once I put it back in the stock tune, which weirdly runs the best, I cleared the – I hit the like, clear on the code reader, and it got it out of limp mode, and it started running pretty decent. So I'm curious now if I put it back in the, either the stage one or the tune that JT, or JT Tune gave me, and it, it just cleared the codes on the scanner, if that'll – get it out of limo and those tunes will run well because they were kind of running like shit and i could barely even floor it so uh like basically limo so yeah play around with that at a later uh date but hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one when this thing's running even better with a full exhaust